All right, so uh, for some reason, John Eddy said uh, he loves the stream, except for one person. All right, so coming up next, Rio and Michelangelo, both Yomi players. Yep. Not 100% sure how this really Goes. Uh, plays out. Yeah. Um, but Rio's been playing so many different characters, and right now I see Rio going. Uh, um, you have him, uh, the name's backwards, Spooky. Uh, Rio going with Aaron Black, Michelangelo picking his. You know, Quan Chi, like always. And the winner of this plays Sonic Fox, something like that? Sonic Fox tearing up the loser's bracket after going there round one. No, no I think it was round two. It was round two? It was round, was two. round two? Yeah, okay. it was round two. Actually, ne never mind. This is winners because Michelangelo beat me, so. Oh, yeah, so. Yeah, it's probably winners. Okay, yeah, it's probably winners. winners. Yes. And uh, Rio beat uh, Sonic Fox. All right, Quan Chi versus Aaron Black. All right, this feels good. Let's see who will get put in the blender first. And it looks like Rio first attack with the EX slide. That was very good. Great reactions. Wants to get the first hit and can pretty much still hold on to a yeah, meter. Yeah, he's still meter. He's basically meter positive. Bates the EX sand. Bates it out. Now he's in the blender. 50-50 town. He's in the corner. In the corner. More birds. Oh, jumps straight out of it. Disrespecting the bird. Good call there. Cow drops. There it is. Yes, after the hard knockdown. Good stuff. And Rio keeping him on there, knowing Michelangelo has no wake ups, he has no option to really get yep. out. Back in the blender. Still even match right now, though, so far. Good blocks. Good blocks. Good blocks again. Out of the blender. Try a new jump punch to get him back into the blender, but he gets trip guarded. Yeah. Great, th yep. great throw. This is very close. Old 2 1 2 1 string. That string is cheap. <laughs> string is cheap. So many hits. Yeah. So many points where he can cancel. Yes, that is pretty cheap. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's it. Oh, never mind. I wasn't aware of the breaker, but he still goes in. Michelangelo bet it all on that. He was so sure it was going to chip him out. And because of that one miscalculation, Aaron Black gets that overhead low starter. <laughs> oh, yes. So good. Still very close. Oh, but he gets the raw jump in. Great Good read. Luck. Yeah, that was a great read by Rio. He felt it coming, knew that was his opportunity. Nice box. Also back in the corner. Rio with his back up against the wall, and Michelangelo backing off, opting to go with a zoning te uh, technique. Just doesn't want to go in, just wants nothing to do with Rio's Aaron Black. Staying away. Back to neutral. And on Michelangelo, the zoning game, we're paying dividends. Yeah, he's, he's about playing. to get the kill off, just ship. Yeah, he's playing very passively, and I think that was the right move. It, it won him that round. Yeah. And the, the, what risk do you have? You're Not meter away. positive, though, so look for Yom. Look for a Rio to uh, blow through a lot of stuff, maybe. Start of the round. Definitely. Oh, okay. He goes to the 2 1 string. Not really sure what Michelangelo tried to do after backdash. I think he, I believe he tried to press a button. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Called out the pillar, but the neutral jump is good. Will Rio use his breaker? No breaker. You, there oh, is. okay. Ah, commentator's curse. Does not cancel. Nice block. Oh, but doesn't block the second pillar. Oh, and the interactable makes Rio go all the way in. Reset. Goes for a reset. Like, I think he just dropped his combo. No, I think Rio didn't realize that he didn't have any stamina left. So oh, yeah, of yeah. Run, he just ran. He just dashed into nothing. Yeah, he wanted run forward, overhead, or low, yeah. and instead he just got dashed forward. Mm -hmm. Break from Rio. Still very close right here. Pretty even. Balls the bird. Bird to play. Anyone's game. Meter's about even. Oh. Life's about even. Nice down one. Low profile there. Plus. Oh, but the neutral jump. Great neutral jump punch. The one thing Aaron Black does have in this in this uh, variation that he doesn't in the other is that neutral jump punch mm -hmm. with the sword. All right, Blender started off. And I think, Michael, yeah, Michelangelo's opting over damage and uh, worried more about the positioning. He wants to play a very passive, lame game. Yeah, he wants Aaron Black to come to him and not get put in the Blender. If he goes in, he's going to be back behind the bird, but he messed up his input there. Got to hold this. Almost all of the wall has to eat the has to eat the fireball as Oki using the plus frames. Uh, Henry Simmons. Oh, oh! I gotta play Street Fighter. I'll see you later. All right. All right. Good luck. So our zero's off to play. Oh. So uh, Michelangelo goes up that round, going up closer to winning this match. He took first blood in round number two, starting with that ground pound string. Caught him again. That was weird. He dashed right into it. 
Okay, this time he went for the low bomb rather than going for the grab. Now, did you see how great Quan Chi's backdash is? Rio read it perfectly, and it, he still couldn't punish it. It has a lot of movement, which helps. But, but Rio was right next to him. It had absolutely no recovery to it. It's a nice slide there. That was a great read. Stopped the startup on the bat. Good jump punch. Had to break that. I really like Michelangelo's spacing with this character. He's not the type to get in your face and go ham. Uh, he waits for his moment. Yeah, definitely. Uh, he's been playing Quan Chi out the gate, you know? It Dude, his Quan Chi's really sick. The only thing that I feel like a lot of people need to learn to do against him is that he's so used to getting free momentum or ground pounds, and nobody delayed wake up after random knockdown, so he always gets a free ground pound mix up after. I think if people take that away from him, he'll be a little bit easier to fight against. Nice conversion. Did not get the full combo. Blanche does hit, and there it is. Finally. That was the read again with the with the dash. Rio made the adjustment knowing if I do think he's going to do it again, start swinging earlier. Okay, Caltrop set up. Nice break on the grab. Mike tried to put him in the corner. Common tactic. Overhead. Come here, sir. So is he going to go for a combo or a 50-50? 50-50 it was. Got him. Got that him was with, well set up. Yeah, he got him with the low. Unfortunately, dropped this combo, but he put it back together using the meter. And uh, Rio needs to keep his head in the game, knowing he's going into this round with two more bars than Michelangelo. Meter is opportunity in this game. Yep. So good stuff on the rolling ball there. No break. Rio. He baited that. He knew it was coming. Yeah. Going with that raw slide. No thing, protection. The thing is, you never want to sit there and just block because they'll do nothing, right? So you still got to commit. Got him in the corner. Gun is the best defense. Okay, good escape there using the interactable. That's one nice thing about this stage is that if you keep stamina, you can escape from the corner pretty easily. Yeah, definitely. And, and that's true with a lot of stages. Uh, and some stages have one corner where it's harder to get out, like in this stage on the left side. Very yeah, tough to get out of there. the right side. But anyway, if you're having problems getting locked down the corner, uh, take advantage of the interactable. Sometimes they can help you escape the situation. Great pressure off the lows. Great move by Rio, keeping him, just keeping him locked down. And that's pretty much what Aaron Black does to Quan Chi. Throws the cow traps out there and doesn't let him, doesn't let him jump out. Yeah. Well, this character, uh, Quan Chi, his wake up has always been called into question. Definitely, Aaron Black is the type of guy that loves to knock you down and then make you guess between high or low all day. Good down three. Michelangelo will be using all the options to stop Rio's pressure. Good block. Michelangelo backing out. Does not take advantage of that frame advantage. Instead, just going with the lame stuff. Lame game. Zoning all day. Good block again. Oh, not that time. He had to break. So Rio's out of meter. So is Mike right now. Michelangelo's the one playing it patient, though. He still has a lead. Great ground pound. Oh, man. That's where that's where he needed to delay wake up. This is looking very grim for Rio. He needs a big play right now. Needs to go Ooh, in. He did catch him. Got the confirm. What can we do with? Ooh, if he had committed. He had committed there. Anything Got him again. 50-50. Go. Oh, Michelangelo no. getting opened up by the sand. For those of you who don't know, the slides in this game all happen to be Hard knockdowns, Sub-Zero slide, Aaron Black slide, etc. Uh, Dude, slides are so good in this game, period. Slides are great. So fast. All right, so Rio advances. I want to say that was kind of by the skin of his teeth there. I feel like Michelangelo almost had him figured out. That was close. I screamed. That is a very grim situation. Come on, Tim. Yeah, Tim's going to come join us in the booth. Tim from Yomi Gaming, formerly Soul Calibur crew. You guys might remember him. This one, right? Oh. Uh, DJT still has no idea that Slayer put that sticker on his back. <laughs> no uh. idea. <laughs> that, that's one of the CD Junior stickers, isn't it? Yeah. Uh -huh. Sl right. Slayer decided <laughs> once uh, he got he got yes. Yeah. He decided the best. <laughs> <laughs> he decided to make a game out of finding <laughs> out of finding a whole bag of stick CD Junior stickers yes. to go around and stick them on people unsuspectingly. <laughs> All right, so real quick, guys, before the next match, I just want to give love to our sponsors. First off, it's Connecticut. Make sure oh, to check man. them out, Connecticut.com. They're showing up this great print of the dolls. Uh, you can get 10% off on this print right now in their store. They also have this great print of jewelry available for you. Same code, Yo. use code SPOOKY. 10% off. These are official prints licensed by the Cap Cops. Uh, and also, they've got their 1-6 scale official statues. Unfortunately, Eva Ryu is already sold out. You guys must have oh. loved it too much. But you can get Oni Akuma still on pre-order right now at Connecticut.com. And of course, much love to them.
Oh, Evil Ryu looks too good. Dude, that Evil Ryu statue is amazing, like man. I wish I owned one. Yeah, man. I wish I knew <laughs> about it. So, good guys, Lord. I also want to give it up to the Masquerade Idols. Make sure to check them out. Uh, you've got Lolita Bot rocking that Tifa. How appropriate with the FF7 remake getting called out. We also have Hello, It's Lee, and we have Jung Lear. Hello, It's Lee as Harley Quinn and Jung Lear as King. Anyway, we're going to be at CEO, so if you guys are interested, check us out. We will have a little table there. We'll be showing off some of our prints. They're all for charity. And uh, the girls will be there as well, so if you want to take some pictures or something, uh, that might be able to be arranged. Anyway, see you guys Whoa. there. Next match coming soon, guys. Does team Spooky has its own cosplay team. Uh, yes. it's, it's small. We're starting somewhere. Dude. All right, all right. I expect to see a harem in like three years. Uh, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. It depends on what they want to do. Looks like they're having yeah. a good time and enjoying it, so that's cool. <laughs> that's what it's all about, man. Yes, yes it is. Definitely. Absolutely. Oh, man. Uh, so I heard Tyrant. I think Tyrant's got to play on stream. We'll see in just a second. Uh, yeah, I believe uh, he said Tyrant versus Michelangelo. Okay. Uh, Michelangelo okay. just fresh, freshly into knocked bracket. into losers. Okay, so it sounds Rio. like a losers match freshly then. Freshly dunked. So here's a little look at the bracket for you guys. Oh, yeah. This is what the loser side looks like. Okay. Uh, some of it. Let me refresh this real quick because parts Sonic of it have not Fox. been updated. Sonic Fox is still waiting uh, for this part of the bracket to get updated. Oh, the loser of Slayer and DJT. Yep, that will face Sonic Fox. Rio's here in Winter Semis. And MIT and Forever King are here. Where is Slayer and DJT? Like, shouldn't that be the match? Oh, uh, yeah, I think so. We might just be waiting or something. I'm waiting for, oh, there's Slayer. He's coming to the station. So it sounds like that is the match that we're going to get. All right, yeah, coming up, Slayer versus DJT. Dude. Now, I think in this next match that we're going to be seeing, uh, I think Slayer is going to go into it with a slight edge only because he has that CD Jr. sticker on DJT's back, and he has <laughs> no idea. No oh, idea. Oh, man. Uh, I actually, believe, yes. there is a slight edge. He's been sandbagging something against this man. I'm actually not going to say what it is. Because there's right, a chance well, you'll he's going to hold it until there. I'll tell you once I see it. Okay, once you see it. You'll tell when me. I see it, I'm in there. But until it happens. But he has totally been sandbagging something to try and get one over on this man. Okay. He's just like, man, I can't treat him like a normal guy anymore. I'm tired of losing to Denzel. Like a normal guy. He's gatekeeping me guy. from top eights, top threes. 